The aim of this video is to recognize the physiological breath sounds through respiratory auscultation. It is of great importance for physiotherapy students since respiratory physiotherapy can improve patients' quality of life and reduce the number of hospital admissions. Respiratory physiotherapy is the set of treatments aimed at improving the symptomology of patients with respiratory problems, such as patients with COPD. COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. It is a chronic lung disease with obstructed airflow and symptoms such as shortness of breath, coughing or wheezing. It is strongly associated with smoking. Although COPD is a disease that usually gets progressively worse, it is treatable. A patient with this disease is treated with medication and their physical and even social activity is limited. Respiratory physiotherapy can help reduce the fatigue they feel because of the difficulty in breathing, prevent complications of the disease, and increase exercise tolerance, among other things. To carry out auscultation, we need a phonendoscope, which is a binaural stethoscope, consisting of this piece, which we place on the patient's skin. It has two parts, the bell and the diaphragm. The bell transmits the lower frequencies better, for example, the lower sounds, and the diaphragm transmits the higher frequencies better, for example, the higher sounds. The bell and the diaphragm are reversible. We do this by rotating the piece. By means of a flexible tube called tubing, the bell and the diaphragm are connected to the ear tubes that end in the ear pieces, which are introduced into the ears. If the ear tubes have a certain angle, as in this case, they must be placed following the anatomy of the ear canal. That is, with a forward inclination to facilitate listening. The patient can be auscultated in a seated or orthostatic position. They should be bare chested and breathe normally. The patient is then asked to breathe in and out deeply through the mouth without making any noise. The auscultation should be orderly and thorough. It is important that we listen to both sides and compare. The auscultated sounds must be symmetrical in healthy conditions. What we hear when we do a respiratory auscultation is mostly the turbulence generated by air coming in and out. So what we expect to hear in physiological conditions is like a breeze. In the following, we will define the breathing sounds and indicate their location in a healthy person. Tracheal breath sounds are perceived in the neck. These sounds are intense, harsh, high-pitched, audible in both phases of ventilation, but slightly stronger and expiratory, with a marked pause between the two phases. The source of the inspiratory component is the vibration of the tracheobronchial spurs by the passage of air through the glottis. The expiratory component is produced by the vibration of the air as it passes from one bronchus to a larger one. These sounds are heard in the neck and areas along the laryngotracheal tract. We palpate until we locate the third and fourth intercostal spaces where large bronchi originate in order to proceed with the auscultation of bronchial breath sounds. We will proceed to symmetrical auscultation, which will give us identical results in a physiological situation.
bronchial breath sounds are the result of the superposition of tracheal breath sounds that we perceive in the neck and normal or vesicular breath sounds which we will explain below. These sounds are heard in the areas of the lung close to the larger bronchi, for example in areas of bifurcation of the trachea and large bronchi. We start from the bottom by placing the diaphragm on the lung bases and moving upwards. We compare what we hear on one side with the other. We ask the person to raise their arms and we listen alternately to the costal and subaxillary areas. We should perceive normal breath sounds with the same intensity and tone on both sides. Normal breath sounds are almost exclusively inspiratory sounds, soft and low in tone. As a whole, there are two components. The inspiratory component, longer and more intense, is caused by the sudden distension of the pulmonary alveoli due to the entry of air. Auscultation is facilitated if the patient breathes in deeply and slowly with the mouth open. Normal breath sounds are heard in areas of lung projection on the thorax, which are the first two intercostal spaces, axillary regions, and on the back. The loudest sound is heard at the base of the lungs on the back during spontaneous ventilation. Normal breath sounds have diagnostic value since their attenuation or modification is a sign of some pathology. <laughs>